Here's eight and ten hundredths fractions and liquid measures. So why are we doing this today? Well, we need to be able to make sense of math problems and model those problems with mathematics, meaning mathematical equations. Now, we have already worked with measurement conversions. And if you all recall, we had the picture that we did with the giant G and the four quarts inside the G and then the two pints inside the quart and the two cups inside a pint. Today, we're gonna to change that just a little bit. I am going to introduce you to something new. Aren't you excited? We're gonna be looking at that pint, but instead of the G being the giant this time, our letter P is going to be the giant, showing that we have two cups inside of a pint, which that means, of course, that there are two cups in one pint but we're gonna take that even smaller and we're going to look at fluid ounces. So we're going to represent fluid ounces with um, these two letter Fs right here, okay? So as you can see, there's two here. This makes four, six, eight. So that means that in one cup, that is equal to eight fluid ounces, okay? So this drawing would be very beneficial for you to try to do your conversions, but we will also have our measurement uh, number line that we've used to make conversions in the past, so I'll pull that out. So here is our measurement scale, and as you can see, I have fluid ounces up here at the top, and down at the bottom I have cups. If you look here, if I have zero, of course that's going to be equivalent to zero. But if I have four fluid ounces, that's equivalent to half a cup. Eight fluid ounces is equal to one cup, which we just talked about a minute ago. And then we can go on down the measurement scale to see what the equivalencies are. So what you're gonna do in class is you're gonna use similar tools and you're gonna look at a rule, an in and out box, and you're gonna to have to figure out what is the rule and figure out what numbers you're gonna plug in to that in and out box. So give me a second to get that set up. Okay, as you can see, I've brought up an in and out box with a rule, and the rule is not there. We have to figure out what the rule is. So if I were to look at what I have in my in and out box so far, I have one fourth of a cup is equal, or not equal to, but if I put one fourth of a cup in, I get two fourths of a cup out. What did I do to one fourth to get two fourths? Think about that, write that down in your notes. And let's check to see if we do the same thing down here. We have three-fourths of a cup that we have put in. We're going to get one-fourth cup out. Have you figured out the rule? Write it down. Hopefully you figured that it was plus one-fourth of a cup because one-fourth plus one-fourth is going to give me two-fourths. So if I have three-fourths over here, what am I going to do to figure out this number? Am I going to add or subtract? Hopefully you figured out that you're gonna subtract. So if we take three-fourths minus one-fourth in this instance, then we would get two-fourths over here, okay? All right, let's look at our last one down at the bottom. We have two and three-fourths. We're gonna subtract one-fourth. So that would give me two and two-fourths cups. And I forgot to label those, didn't I? Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. So in class, we will use addition, subtraction, and multiplication to solve liquid measurement number stories with fractions and conversions among units. See you in class.